hello friends today we are going to see how to design an impeller using nscape so we will start with new file you can directly give the name of your part here and also you can give the path of the saving file here okay so now we will make the base of the impeller using revolve command so for that we will select the revolve we will select the sketching plane we will sketch the base for that using sketch profile profile is a continuous line so we are giving the length and the angle of the line the diameter of this line is given as 75 so for revolve you only need the half view so we have taken it as 37.5 which is half of the 75 okay, now we will make a circle here which is tangent to the line so we are making the circle and we will use constraints so for activation of constraints you need to press C or you can directly press the constraints tab so now we will again specify the diameter of circle which is 12 and now we will make a line from this point to the tangential point of this circle and we will trim the sketch which we don't want so this one gets trimmed so now our sketch is complete we will finish our sketch the sketch has been selected we will specify the vector vector is nothing but the axis of revolution so the our Revolve is ready. Now we need to do a hole and a keyway. So for that we will select the extrude command. In extrude command we will select the face and we will make the shaft hole which is of 14 diameter. So the shaft hole has been made. Now we have to make the keyway. So for that I will use center rectangle. Okay, the length of that keyway is 9 from that center so we will directly take the rectangle of 18 by 5 and we will trim the unwanted lines so our sketch is ready now we will again finish our sketch and we will do the distance and in boolean operations we have to use subtract and ok so now our shaft hole and keyway is ready now the last thing remaining is the wings of the impeller so for that again we will use extrude we will select the top face of that and we will make a circle of 38 diameter we will use arc before that we need to select the reference line so make the line from center and then right click on it and convert to reference so line gets converted into a reference line now intersection point activate the intersection point from this point to this point and the radius given to us is 28 we need the lower radius of that part so this one is done and now we will use offset command the thickness of wing is 3 mm so we will offset it by 3 mm and we will project our circle so that directly we can remove the unwanted things and our sketch gets closed for any command to use our sketch should be a closed okay the height of the wing is 14 mm and we have to again make it unite and okay and now last thing we have to do is we have to use pattern okay circular pattern has been selected select the feature select the vector has been selected specify point means what will be the point of your rotation base point so this is our base point and okay so now our part is ready hope you like this video please share and subscribe our channel thank you